I'm sure you've heard about Power World, the indie game that is taking Steam and the entire gaming community by storm. This open world action adventure game was quickly dismissed as yet another Pokemon ripoff, but given the game's enormous success so far, Power World may have what it takes to actually compete with Pokemon. As of today, the game has sold over 4 million copies and passed the 1 million concurrent player mark on Steam. Needless to say, this is without a doubt the first big hit of 2024, and everybody wants it. But you're probably wondering, does it actually have a Mac version, and if it doesn't, can I still play it on Mac? Hello everybody, this is Matthew, and welcome to Mac Gamer HQ. Despite not officially supporting macOS, PAL World can be played on Mac thanks to virtualization tools like Crossover. In fact, we downloaded and tested the game and can confirm Crossover can run PAL World without bugs or significant issues. Thanks to Apple's game porting toolkit, many high profile Windows games can now be played on macOS with decent performance. The beauty of Crossover is that it takes advantage of Apple's game porting toolkit to run Windows games with ease, which is exactly the case for PAL World. So, how can you run and play PAL World on Mac? We tested the game using an M1 Pro 14 inch MacBook Pro and Crossover 23 version 23.7 using very low settings and we got between 25 and 35 FPS using a 1512 by 982 resolution and between 30 to 40 FPS at 720p resolution. Clearly, we're not getting the best performance from the game even though we have a decent M1 Pro. Performance at full screen leads to an average of 28 frames per second, which is extremely choppy. Moving into more open areas, which is most of the game, you'll see your FPS dip below 26 to 27, which can be extremely jarring. If you decide to play the game at 720p though, you can expect better results as the game can be played at 30 to 40 FPS. Sadly, PAL World won't exactly look too good at that resolution, so we wouldn't really recommend it. On the flip side, the game has no keyboard, mouse, or trackpad issues, even though Steam players have reported some slight glitches with an Xbox controller, crossover seems to be fine for now. In conclusion, if you have anything older or weaker than an M1 Pro, you should probably stay away from this game. But if you have a beefier Apple Silicon model, you can definitely run this game at medium settings and resolutions and still get acceptable frame rates. For example, friend of the channel, Mac Pro Tips, can run PAL World at 50 FPS on his high-end M3 Max. Since the game is currently in early access, we are hoping that performance issues improve over time. Plus, Crossover hasn't optimized the game for Mac just yet. Because of this, a future update may also take the FPS a step up further as well. If you want to test whether this game works well on your Mac, Crossover offers a 14-day trial, allowing you to test the game before you purchase the tool. We cover how to play Windows games using Crossover in the link in the description. So, is PAL World coming to Mac? PAL World does not seem to be coming to Mac anytime soon. This is because PAL World is a game developed by a relatively small Japanese studio that has just seen a huge burst of sales. This is Pocket Pair's first major success, so they probably didn't have any plans, budget, or resources to create a native Apple Silicon version of PAL World. If you prefer to stick to native Mac games, there are a few survival games that you can check out that somewhat mimic the feel of PAL World. Our top pick will be No Man's Sky, which is an excellent survival game that has really improved over time. Let us know how you've been getting on with PAL World on Mac in the comments down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.